Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm the king and welcome back to the channel to a different type of video today. We're going to go over some interesting facts about Dead by Daylight that you probably didn't know. Now, emphasis on the words probably because chances are you might know some of these things, but these are still some subtle little features and things in the game that, that you may have never caught on to. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into this list. Starting in at number 5 on the list, as we are all familiar with, you need to complete generators around the map in order to activate the power to get out. But what a lot of people don't realize is that every generator is actually keyed in with some lights around the map. Every generator has something that it's going to power up on that tile or that area. Specifically on some of the indoor maps such as Badham Preschool in the basement or Lampkin Lane or even maps such as the game Once a generator is completed the lights around the surrounding area will completely light up A lot of people don't realize this very subtle key detail But it can actually even help your gameplay if you're running towards the area and you don't have sights on the generator Instead of going around looking for it You can actually just look at the lights to see if they are on now, when the generator is not completed, the lights would actually flicker. Because of this, you'll know exactly what generator needs fixing and what generators do not. Once all the generators are done and power is restored to the entirety of the map, all of the lights will automatically come on. Let's talk about number four, which is kind of an Easter egg as well. I'm sure a lot of you probably know this one as it's featured in the newest map. On the newest map, a variation to the family residence, there are some very peculiar statues that are just chilling around there and these actually work like weeping angels at first glance you may not notice anything you just see the statues you're focused on your game but if you take a look at them and then you turn around go to the other side and look at them again you'll notice that these statue spaces actually track you now a lot of people have caught on to this on day one but it's still kind of scary to think about and it kind of fits the entire theme that dead by daylight has going as a horror game these are essentially weeping angel statues except they look at you rather than moving quite scary if you know that it's happening but if you don't it can be so subtle that you won't even notice it Coming in at number three is the golden toolbox. Now, this is again another type of Easter egg, and we actually know the developers that are doing it, so it's always interesting looking around the map for these things. So, if you don't know what the golden toolbox is, essentially every single map, excluding the originals, has a golden toolbox hidden somewhere on it. Now, this is only an Easter egg, and it's been implemented from the game since the Halloween chapter to now on every single map except for variations and the original. And essentially, if you find it, it's just basically bragging rights. But each and every single map, this has been getting progressively harder and harder. The main man for finding the golden toolbox is by far polyester. He absolutely loves finding these around the map, and he has a bunch of videos actually locating every single one of them. In our most recent find on the new map, the Underground Complex, which was featured in the Stranger Things chapter, we were actually able to find not one but two locations of golden toolboxes, this one being one of the hardest ones yet, as you needed to trigger the end game collapse timer, only to have a specific box on the map open. Once the box is open, you'll only get a tiny glimpse of it, and you have successfully found the golden toolbox. The most notorious one is probably on Lampkin Lane, as it's right there underneath a picnic table, and after that, it progressively gets harder and harder and harder. Coming in at number two are the teacher files. This one isn't so much of an Easter egg, but rather something that a lot of people don't really know. A long, long, long time ago, there was a chapter that was supposed to come on into the game, and these game files were actually implemented into the game, and to this day, they're still there, but we never actually got any use out of this, and to this day, we don't know what it does. In fact, I did an interview with Matthew Cote at New York City Comic Con, and I even brought it up. And he proclaimed that there's something to do with this teacher files that's going to be incorporated or already is incorporated into the game and we are just yet to find it and to this day I have no idea what it is in fact we went ahead and looked through all the files again nothing's changed and we can't really put our finger on it even quite recently we joked about the dunce cap which was something that was introduced in the teacher files being the image that you will get for DC penalties Matthew Cote said that wasn't it on Twitter and I even went to his streams and he confirmed that he mentioned this when we spoke at New York City Comic Con so I have no idea what it actually entails or what it actually means but we know that the files are still there to this day and there's some significant meaning with them. And finally coming in at number one 
Something that probably none of you know, this is something I also brought up with Matthew Cote, is that every Dead by Daylight render has their skin, like their actual skin that is shown and it's laid out. And for one character specifically, Ace, he actually has a scar on his chest. Now you'll never see this because you'll never have shirtless Ace, well, you never know what the devs can do, but for now we don't have shirtless Ace, so you'll never know that he has a scar right where his kidney is located. Now if we know the lore about Ace, he's a big gambler, so there is a possibility that Ace actually got his kidney removed to pay off some debts that he owed gambling. I even jokingly brought this up with Matthew Cote at the New York City Comic Con event, and he just chuckled when it was brought up. But there you go, those are five facts or five easter eggs that you probably didn't know about Dead by Daylight. I hope you guys did enjoy, if there's some things that you know in the game that a lot of people don't know, leave it down below. If you know any easter eggs or any super secret things in Dead by Daylight, leave it down below and share it with the community. If you guys enjoyed this video, we'll probably make another one talking about more easter eggs and more cool facts about the game. As always, I'm the King, I tip my crown to you guys, and we'll see you in the fog.